apparently he believes that he's a 14th century knight. So call Christopher Frederick Lyons of Norwich at your service. Oh boy. On your Twitter recently, you called this movie Christmas Cheese, which I fully agree with, and I'm in the very best way. Like, why do you think we all want like sentimental movies at Christmas? These like warm, perfect. I movies? think I think that it's you know people want something at Christmas that's not too serious and not mm -hmm. too much to deal with, not too dramatic, not you know just something light, mm -hmm. easy, happy. And with that comes the feeling of cheese, I suppose. You know, <laughs> it's it's what you want at Christmas. I think it's perfect for yeah for sitting around the fire and all that stuff. Yeah, you want to listen to All I Want for Christmas is You a million times yeah. and like wear a blanket. I want all the cliches. Yes, I know, 100%. Mm -hmm. What if he's dangerous? <laughs> Trust me, he's harmless. First thing I think we should do is update your wardrobe by at least a few centuries. Greetings. Greetings. I'll let you get dressed. Sir Cole, your character, mm -hmm. picks up 2019 pretty quickly. He binges TV one <laughs> one night and then is like good to go. Uh -huh. uh, how fast do you think you could pick it up if you got sent back to 1334? I think just as fast as Sir Cole. <laughs> he's a he's a very fast learner. Uh, he's you know I think he 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 figured it out pretty fast because you know he soaks up knowledge. I mean look at how he picked up the American accent just like that. <laughs> Like He's like, yeah, I get the toilet, I get the shower, like, let's do this, I can drive yeah. a car. Well, yeah, he kind of could drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> he can't park it, he, he can, can drive any it. beast, you know? Yeah. He's just, he's, he's up and at him. Uh, so I think whatever time frame he was living in, he's gonna, he's gonna figure it out. You guys shot this movie in May, like in the spring, right? Like April, May-ish. Yeah. Mm. Um, how did you guys get in the Christmas spirit on set? Um, Christmas, listening to Christmas songs. Um, <laughs> the fun part about doing a Christmas movie in the spring is you basically get two rounds of listening to Christmas music, um, as well as our sets. I mean, I mean the set was the yeah. most Christmassy thing you've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, especially in, in, in the fair. Christmas town, yeah. Yeah, the Christmas town. It's hard Which not to feel Christmassy around there. Actually, an amusement park that is there all year round. Really? Uh, mm. Yeah. <laughs> so Where it's just is always it? Christmas. In Bracebridge, Ontario. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. can say that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Ohio, and I was like, Bracebridge, Ohio. Yeah, Bracebridge, mm -hmm. Ontario. Yeah. Who are we to tell him he's not who he says he is? Are you sure you're not a witch? There's like some very serious fake snow. Like you're really, it's really coming down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was great for the hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> great for the eyes, nostrils, mouth, windpipes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, are you guys putting up trees? Do you guys do Christmas trees? Yes. Mm -hmm. When are you going to put it up? Like, do you wait till after Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving comes kind of late this year, so like, you're going to do it before? No, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm going to be away and working until like the 21st of <laughs> December, so I will be putting up my Christmas tree then. Mm -hmm. Um, we don't have Thanksgiving in London, uh, so I'm gonna be doing, I don't know, usually mid-December. I was in London pretty recently and they're already getting Christmassy, like even in like late October. Yeah, yeah, oh, it, it, it kicks in quick. <laughs> pretty much everywhere, I find. Oh! Nice catch. Steady now, my lady. 